This Dwarkadhish temple is regarded as one of the holiest temples in Mathura. And it's famous for its elaborate architecture and paintings. It was built in 1814. <laughs> and this temple is dedicated to Lord Dwarkadhish, depicted in black marble. Arriba. It's situated right next to Vishram Ghat of River Yamuna, where Krishna came and took rest after killing Kamsa. So next we walk down the steps of Dwarkadhish temple, coming towards River Yamuna, where we come upon the most beautiful Yamaraj Yamuna temple. And this is one of the, amongst one of the oldest temples in Mathura, Yam Yamuna temple, or also known as Yamuna Dharmaraj temple, which is situated a few meters away from the Vishram Ghat on the steps that lead to the main road, taking us to the opulent Dwarkadhish temple. The entrance of this silver gilded temple is through a very small gate. So we might have to hunch to get into the main room. <laughs> but the main temple room is very simple, but has very strong spiritual vibrations. And it gives such a warm feeling like home. In the center of this room are the deities of Yam and Yamuna, which is Yamaraj and Yamuna in black stone standing with their hands raised in benevolent blessing for the sincere-hearted devotees. In fact, the antiquity of this temple, it's so old that it can be understood by the fact that the deities were installed by King Vajranabha around 4,900 years ago. These are the same very deities by Krishna's grandson, uh, great-grandson Vajranabha, the son of Aniruddha and Usha. This is the brother and the sister. You know, very, very, very few temples are there of this brother-sister duo that Jamuna Maya, the river Jamuna, her own brother is actually Dharmaraj, who is none other than Yama, Yamaraj, the god of death. And both of them are son and daughter of Suryade. These two brother and sister, Yama and Yamuna, Lord Goranga Mahaprabhu personally visited them, saw them, and it is said that on the day of Bhai Duj, Yamuna Devi, she invited her brother over for dinner. And when she came, when, when her brother came, after having the meal, Yama actually asked Yamuna Devi to ask him for anything, any benediction that she would like. Mm -hmm. And since Yamuna, you know, Devi, she does not have any other desire other than to serve Krishna and for the benefit of all living entities, she asked for an eternal blessing from her brother. And she said, my dear brother, anyone who takes bath in my waters, they should become freed from your harsh judgments. Can you please do that for me? And Yamaraj, because it was the day of Bhai Dud, you know, it is the day that the brother fulfills all the desires of his sister. So on this particular day, Yamaraj fulfilled her desire and promised her that anyone who takes bath in the waters of his sister, Jamuna Devi, they will never be harshly judged by Yamaraj. So in this particular place, we pray that here at this temple of the divine brother and sister, Sri Yamaraj and Yamuna Devi, let us sincerely pray that not only may we be excused from the harsh judgments of Sri Yamaraj, but also we pray to Yamuna Devi that she blesses us with the pure love and eagerness to serve that she treasures in her waters for Sri Krishna. And we also pray to Sri Yamaraj, who is a pure devotee, who is one of the Mahajans, that we can be allowed, he can allow us to follow in his footsteps and be successful in Krishna Prema. Now we proceed towards the pure waters 
of Sri Jamuna Maya. And we come down to these steps and we come into this place is called as Vishram Ghat. This is where Krishna took rest after killing the ruler of Mathura, the evil demon Kamsa. Evil. In fact, when Lord Chaitanya also visited Mathura, he also took bath here at Vishram Ghat and rested here for some time. So officially, this is the starting point of our Parikrama. During all Vrajamandal Parikramas, this is the starting point. And we take Sankalpa here, tying the uh, band around our hand, a Sankalpa that we will not, we will complete this Parikrama and take blessings from Yamuna Devi for the entire one month, 30 day Parikrama around the Vrajamandal. And then on the last day of Vrajamandal Parikrama, we will return to this very place and complete our Parikrama. So with this prayer, begging to complete Sri Vrajamandal Parikrama in the right mood, in the proper consciousness, let us enter the beautiful waters of the Yamuna. Let us take waters in our hands as we are virtually doing that. Let us put all our emotions by taking waters in our hands of Sri Yamuna, say our prayer of determination and blessing. And dependence and, on Srimati Radharani. And throw the water back in Yamuna very gently. And we do this three times. This is our Sankalpa. After that, we take three dips in the cool and refreshing waters of Yamuna. And then we'll conclude our bathing by offering lamps to Mother Yamuna.